Breaking news tonight at 6. This is police body cam footage released just this afternoon. It is disturbing and it shows the moment that Herman Whitfield III was taken into custody with IMPD. His family now in response is suing the city and the officers involved in the arrest. Rich Nye has been following this case since we first learned of the death of Whitfield. That's right and uh, Rich joins us now to show us the video that many people have been demanding for weeks. Rich. And Scott, we want to warn our viewers that you may find some of this video graphic and disturbing. We are still waiting on the results of the internal and criminal investigation, but now you can see some of the evidence for yourself. It's like a mental issue. Like, is it from drugs? No, he doesn't do drugs. Herman Whitfield III's parents called for help at their house about 3.20 a.m. on April 25th. Police say they found Whitfield naked, sweating, and bleeding from the mouth. Hi. Come here, can you sit down up here, Herman? Okay. Okay, let me see you do it. Police say they negotiated with the large man to get dressed to go to the hospital for 10 minutes before he went to the kitchen and started throwing things. Bud, I need you to relax for me. When Whitfield went to the dining room, an officer activated his taser twice. Officers got on top of Whitfield and handcuffed him face down. It sounds like he says, I can't breathe, up to three times. Lawyers for the family say the video released is selective and biased. They say Whitfield never threatened anyone, and officers were on top of him for three or four minutes before medics arrived, and he was finally rolled over. We'll make sure we do our part uh, to do a thorough investigation, um, but hopefully the public understands that we're not trying to hide anything. Uh, we really, we're not afraid of accountability. In the response from Whitfield's family, they said the highly edited video misrepresents Whitfield's actions in the kitchen and that he never rushed in an officer as IMPD claims. They also point out that while IMPD notes key moments in the video, no reference is made to Whitfield repeatedly saying he could not breathe or IMPD officers leaving him face down instead of sitting him up. The family is calling on IMPD to publicly release the entire body cam videos from those officers.